Hey everyone and welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. As you can see the background's changed a little. We are outside Prestige Auto Paint and we're going to chat to Ash who put the clear and did all the prepping for the Eagle trike. Let's go take a look at how it turned out. Okay, so here we have the completed guards, all clear coated and flow coated. We'll chat to Ash in a minute so he can explain what um, paints and products he used on this particular project, but he's done an amazing job. Might even take a few of the pieces outside in the sun just to really show you the that red candy metallic that you can see. So you notice now the feathers, a lot of this you've already seen, but it's nice to see it completely cleared. Um, gives the whole project a lot more depth. So that's the top of the tank. We just did some subtle feathers on that one. Then we've got the eagle head on the rear boot panel with the Aussie Outback and the warning eagles road sign, a bit of Australiana, got the front cow with the eagle flying and we've got some of the feathers again with that wispy sort of smoke flame just on either end just to tie in with the rest of the the artwork and um, make a bit more sense with the feathers on the tank. We've got the eagle feeding the baby in the nest. The tree branch. You can see how much harder it is now to film with that clear, but that's what we want. Nice and shiny. We've got the flying eagle on the back with the rodent bringing that to his young. The eagle on the roadkill. So the kangaroo again, tying back into the Aussie Outback. And then the other side of this guard, another smaller eagle just flying in the distance with another wedge-tailed eagle that's looking for some more roadkill. You can see me in there, so glossy. So this artwork was created using just an outside mask and then numerous colors by Trident and Createx Illustration colors. Uh, then once all the art was done, I put a SG100 Intercoat Clear over the top. I'll probably link to some of those products in the description below, so check that out. And then once it's all done, it was cleared. But uh, let's go now and have a chat with Ash, and he can explain a bit more about his process in this project. Okay everyone, so you just checked out the completed parts. We've got Ash here, he's going to explain a little bit more about the prepping process and the clearing and what he's done to achieve these amazing results. So let's uh, spin the camera around and let's have a talk with Ash from Prestige Auto Paint. How are we? How are you mate? Good to sell. Good. Good. So this is Ash, he's the, he's the man that did all this wonderful clearing and made everything, all my artwork look pretty. <laughs> so um, just explain a little bit about what you did, like prepping, clearing, what products you used. So this bike came in, started as an insurance job. It just had a few small sort of stone chips down on the back of the guards. Yep. So it was a very basic as a paint job. But then obviously the owners wanted some artwork, so we've combined the, the two. So basically we've matched to the original paintwork on the, the Harley colors. And the whole thing has been done in the MIPA paint system, yep. which is a German paint system. And this was actually a first one we've done, which is what's called a mono candy. Uh, if you do a traditional candy, it's a base coat with a tinted clear coat, but this one is actually a direct base coat with ink into it. So it's been a first, but it's come up really, really good. So a big thanks to Sam at MIPA in Bayswater. But, um so for anyone who wants to get MIPA products in Australia, where can they, where can they find them? 
Uh, there is MIPRA in Bayswater, but also Global Paint Supplies, which are in Cranbourne West. Okay, so I'll pop a link to their website. They've got a website and all they that? Do, yeah. yeah, okay, I'll pop a link in the description for that. So all the products have been done in MIPRA. Uh, the clear coat is the CC9, which is their top of the range high solid clear. Mm -hmm. So basically we've done the candy, cleared it, then we've sanded it all down. Casting here is obviously done with awesome artwork, and then it's been flow coated twice. To get these sort of results, that's uh, the way to do it. And just because explain what flow coat means, because a lot of people who don't paint don't understand. So basically we do the red first, the candy is done first, then the whole thing is cleared. Then we sand it all down after a few days of drying, and then off to the airbrush, all the artwork gets done, it's cleared again, it's all sanded down once again. Some of the edges are then rebrushed with the airbrush, just to make it a little bit clearer. And off we go to the oven and clear the whole thing again. So There's been very little polishing since then, but some of it has been polished. Got an but amazing this, finish. And this is pretty much off the gun with a MIPA system. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's take a look at that out in the sun while you've got that in your hand. This will give you guys a better understanding of how, how, how color crazy pops. this colour is. And that's actually got a gold flake there you go. in the candy. A very fine gold flake. So you can see there. Just a, and that's this is why I had to mask out the artwork to obviously protect that existing base color So whenever you guys are doing artwork, just keep that in mind and like um, Ash said then once that was done um, The artworks protected with more clear that sanded and then that removes any of these edges And then I just came in freehand with the airbrush and what that does is it kind of softens some of those masking edges You can see here how it sits on the top so it gives it more of an airbrush look rather than just a sticker stuck on so good work man. So in the sun you can actually see it's got uh, it's a DNA product that I found it's a tiny gold flake yep and that's made it pretty much perfect to the original Harley color. Always difficult to match motorbike colors. Candies <laughs> yeah, yeah. candies aren't easy. Yep. But, uh, with good the work. stuff. Yeah so there you go. That's... Excellent a bit more there. Yeah it gives you a better understanding of how that color really pops. And now with three layers of clear on it's it's very very deep looking especially this color it's a rich very rich red yep mm. excellent good work so there you have it guys we just uh, had a good chat with ash from prestige auto here and he explained all the processes behind this particular project so just thought we'd throw that in as something a bit different for our videos hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already feel free to hit subscribe tap on that bell icon that'll let you know every time we put out new content because if you don't even if you're a subscriber, you may miss out on videos because YouTube doesn't deliver to all of our subscribers unless that uh, bell notification has been activated. So all in all, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like seeing this project come together. As I said, I have filmed these um, in raw videos and will edit them and bring them out as step by steps. But at the moment, I've got a lot of other work to do. So it's onto the chopper with the dragon and the hellhound. I've already started that. So I'll be bringing you some updates on that one. Until next time, feel free uh, to grab your airbrush, do some more painting, and we'll get back to you very, very soon with another video. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now.